Hi friends, Noki here. Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, are you ready to start uh, your journey to financial freedom? I hope you are, which is why you clicked on this video. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, my name is Noki and on this channel, I talk about ways of making and saving money, creating wealth and uh, heading towards living a legacy for your uh, family, for your children and your children's children. Yeah, so today I'm going to start a series uh, there is so much content uh, when it comes to this topic that uh, i i just have to um, make it into parts this is going to be part one in other ways this is going to be the number one step to attaining financial freedom you need to uh, be financially independent so that you can uh, make progress you know you cannot save money if you are still in debt you cannot save money when you keep paying credit cards 29 percent um uh interest 35 percent interest and all that and some of you have store credit cards yes i know all about that because most of the things that i share on this channel are things that i have gone through you know once you are delivered from something like i always say then you are able to teach people uh, of that thing that you got delivered from so i want uh, I, I want somebody who may not have an idea or who may be thinking how or where do i start this journey of financial freedom yeah i'm here to help you my friend i'm here to help you thank you so much for watching and remember to click the like button and watch this video until the end because this information just keeps getting better and better and better until the very last uh, second of this video and that way you can be able to share the video with your friends and be excited about this journey that you are about to embark on yes uh -huh. I've already introduced myself to those of you who are new here uh, I do post uh, uh, videos at least I try to post twice. Uh, this, the, this type of content, I do try to post it twice a week. And then the third one, it's a motivational uh, video that I do once a week. So with that being said, my friend, let's get on with the video. The first step that you want to do if you are in debt and you have a lot of credit cards, I think uh, studies here in America show that uh, an average household is uh, about four credit cards. That's average. Most people have far more than that. So what you want to do is you want to gather all those credit cards, including consumer credit cards. That is those credit cards that when you go to Macy's or Lord and Taylor or JC Penney, they say, would you like to apply for this card and get a 15% off? Uh -huh, don't fall for that trap because in the end, the interest that you're going to pay is far higher than that 15% discount that you enjoyed on that first purchase. So you want to be very, very smart and be intentional. Getting out of debt has to be an intentional effort. You have to be intentional about it. And so what you want to do is to gather all those credit cards and list them down list them down and uh, once you list them down look at the credit card that has the lowest uh, balance the credit card with the lowest balance is the credit card that you are going to go aggressively on you are going to tackle that one first uh that is you are putting you are not just going to be paying minimum payment on it you're just going to be putting extra let me give you an example if say the minimum payment on that card is 25 dollars just for the sake of throwing out numbers, uh, if the minimum on that card is $25, you go ahead and try to double that if you can, or just maybe pay maybe 45, try to put more than the minimum on it until you totally eliminate that balance until you clear it completely so once you clear it completely you are going to move on to the second one the second card with the with the with the, uh, with the lowest balance as well however let me say because somebody will say oh okay we i'm just tackling this one uh let me forget about all the other cards no while you are paying more or going aggressive on the first card you want to make sure that you are paying minimum payment on the on all the other cards make sure you are paying something at least the minimum on all the other cards do not 
stop paying them do not stop paying them because remember if you stop or if you are late you are going to incur those charges those late charges are painful because most of them are like 35 dollars here in the us of a so you want to make sure that while you are tackling the first one aggressively you uh you are paying at least the minimum on the or, or on the other cards this is called the snowball method the snowball method has turned out to be the most effective when it comes to getting rid of debt or credit cards and consumer debt the snowball method seems to work best because because you actually see your progress and you gain momentum as you go along once you are done with the first credit card you know that you are you get excited and you know that you are going to get rid of the next one and the next one and the next one until you completely get out of debt credit card debt and consumer debt store credit cards that is what i'm talking about i'm not talking about your mortgage your mortgage is a whole different story do not worry about the mortgage just continue paying the mortgage right now we want to tackle the credit cards and the consumer uh, credit cards from uh, the stores that you like shopping and the other thing that you want to make sure you do while you are going tackling that first those credit cards one by one being aggressive in trying to reduce and eliminate completely eliminate uh, the debt you do not want to be adding more charges to any of those cards you might even want to do what they call plastic surgery where you go in and cut, chop them up just cut out all those credit cards so tackle the debt with intentionality until you eliminate all the balances that are on your on those cards yes the snowball method is popular because that's the method that dave ramsey the, the christian financial advisor i uh, recommends and it is proven to be successful more successful than the avalanche me method where where you go for the uh, credit card with the highest um interest rate that one will take you forever to see any traction so so what you do after you are done uh, paying the first card take the amount that you are paying on the first card and add it onto that minimum payment that on the second card which will now be the next one that you're going to tackle so for example if that first card that you are paying you got out of debt because you're paying 50 dollars a month uh and the other cards you are paying maybe say all of them were like 25 dollars minimum payment so now you're going to take that 50 dollars that you were paying because now you've gotten rid of that first card so you're going to uh go ahead and take that 50 dollars from the first card and uh, put it on the next card which will be the next card that you're going to tackle the next one with the uh, we, we, which now has the lowest balance so now you're going to take that $50 and add it on to that $25 on the second card that you are now going to uh, aggressively go after. So now you are going to be paying $75 on the next card until you clear that one. Once you are done clearing that one by paying $75 a month, you take that $75 and add it to the next card where you are paying uh, that $25. Now you are paying paying $100 on that card until you clear it you see why it's called the snowball method and it you keep doing that until you are completely out of debt while you are doing that it is important that at the same time you have you are saving towards your emergency fund and make sure you have a minimum of one thousand dollars i know in most households a thousand dollars doesn't do much but in, in case you have uh, in case the fairness breaks you're going to be out uh way more than the one thousand dollars but just to be on the safe side you want to make sure that you have at least one thousand dollars and you keep on building that emergency fund until until you have an emergency fund that is uh, going to take care of your monthly household expenses for a minimum of six months to a full year we know that in 2021 we are still carrying over from 2020 with this pandemic and some people were caught unaware some people who lost their jobs some people had their hours cut and 
they didn't have they did not even have uh an amount that's enough to cover for three months uh, for the time that they are that they were out of their job so it is important to uh, build your emergency fund as fast as you can and do not waver and do not use it but that one, money that $1,000 hopefully as it increases make sure that it is in, a, in an account that you can easily uh, reach in in case of that emergency, you want to make sure that you are able to access that money. So that is the way that you start getting out of debt by using the snowball method and getting rid of credit cards because credit cards can cripple your finances. Credit cards can really damage your financial independence. So that is what you do. That is how you quickly get out of debt. And while you are doing that, make sure that you are very frugal in your lifestyle. Don't spend on, uh, don't be paying for high high ticket items while you are trying to get out of debt and make sure that you are you have just the basics you might have to eliminate some some items from your grocery list you might have to be living on beans and rice rice and beans for a while but knowing that you are in but knowing that you are in the right direction and for those of you who have children make sure the children know what is going on make this a teachable moment for them let them see you paying the bills and as you eliminate each each credit card make sure that you celebrate your achievement make it an, a point that you celebrate as a family make sure that you celebrate the milestone that you make and that celebration doesn't co have to cost you much having a, a, a dinner at home a big dinner with the family and tell them you are celebrating this achievement get the kids involved that way remember that the kids learn what they live once they see you making an intentional effort to get out of debt they will know and understand that debt is not a good thing credit cards are not a good thing and get into the habit as well of all of trying by all means to use cash because studies have shown that it is not easy to to part with cash whereas if you use a card even a debit card it is easy for you to just swipe without even thinking twice about it and um and, and guess what you are reducing the balance on your bank account so when you have uh, cash in your pocket you will be careful on how you spend it because your mind will tell you oh i can't be, uh, I can't be left with zero uh, dollars in my wallet and make sure that you teach your kids that when you make your purchases you purchase only what you can afford in cash not what you can uh, buy using credit cards most kids nowadays they know what credit cards are because that's what they see their parents doing that's what they see their parents using so much that when they go to college thank God here in the US of A when when President Obama came into office he stopped those credit card companies going to colleges and making those uh, students sign up for credit cards because what was happening was uh, these students were going in each room and picking up all the credit cards and that is a bad start as an, uh, to their adult life. They started off on a bad footing. So you want to make sure that you tell your children that debt is bad, credit card is bad because when you are in debt, you are a slave to that a uh, lender who lent you the money you are a slave to that bank you are a slave to platinum to the platinum or chase or whatever bank issued you with that card so you want to make sure you teach your children that cash is the way to go if we if there is no cash for it then tell them that means we cannot afford it we can save up for it uh, until we can afford it that way you are going to uh, bring up financial smart and financial savvy kids that will be setting them for success in their future now the other thing that you want to do as one of the uh, first steps to your financial freedom is if if you absolutely have to have cable uh, make sure that you pick up the phone and call the cable company yes call them cable companies inter they usually some of you have uh, bundles like cable and internet and maybe the phone uh, some but the most common is cable and internet call the cable company and 
and talk to a customer service representative and ask them if they have more affordable packages. In most cases, they do have affordable uh, packages. Uh, you may want to eliminate some channels, uh, but what's important is you giving them a call and asking them that you need to cut down on the cable bill. They will do it because they know that there's so much competition and they, they want to keep you, especially if you've been with them for a long time, they will give it to you. You, you can ask them to either uh, slash your bill, they can do that, they can cut your bill as much as 50% uh, or they can give you a, a much affordable package and um, and watch out if they say that it is valid for a year before the year is out give them a call again you don't want to end up with a bill which is double uh, what you were uh, paying in the first place so you want to make sure you call them so the trick is uh, you, you you're going to be very nice when you call and tell them um, you know you know how the customer service thing goes ask them how they are ask the customer service how they are doing how is their family how are they staying safe in this pandemic and then just and then lay your 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 concern to them by that at that at that point you already uh, built a rapport with that uh, customer service if for any reason the customer service uh, cannot grant you your your desire uh, ask to speak with a supervisor or a manager at times they do not want to forward the call and they will go ahead and give it to you but if they insist that they cannot give you that uh, discount or slash your bill go ahead and ask for a supervisor or manager and in most cases those supervisors or managers are definitely going to grant you your, your wishes i've managed to do that with my with my cell phone yes it happens you can do it with cable you can do it with the cell phone companies there is so much competition that they want to keep you so my thing is I've been with my cell phone company for years years over 15 years I've been with this company so it's so easy for me to say hey you guys I've been with you for so long and I've done this before and they've cut my bill to such a ridiculous amount and and yet i get all the services um unlimited data unlimited minutes unlimited this i use the power of calling and asking and just get into the habit of calling all those companies look at what you are paying and go ahead and call those uh utility bill companies and cell phone cell phone companies cable companies internet uh companies they are definitely going to cut your bill in um in half in some cases because they don't want to lose you as a customer there is way too much competition going on right now uh in in some cases you may have to uh have a pay as you go plan where you have a budget of how much you're going to spend on your cell phone and just pay as you go uh, at the same time still getting the data and uh, the minutes that you need and uh, the good thing about the pay as you go is you, it is prepaid it is already paid and you it helps you budget it helps you manage your budget and your bills because you know that once you are done Done with whatever amount that you had budgeted for that's it you have to wait until you your next month that way you have a way of um of controlling how much you spend on the cell phone the other thing as far as cell phones is if you have family plans family plans tend to be very expensive if you have adult children in your family plans it is about time that you drop them from the family plan encourage them and help them uh, find their own cheaper plans they might want to start with the prepaid because what happens when they are in the family plan the way that they use their cell phones and the data at times they are so reckless but when you when you drop them from the family plan it is going to teach them uh, to manage their bills and that will be their first bill to manage and that will show them that now you are an adult you have to learn how to manage your your bills and that will be the first teachable moment for them on how to manage their bills so you help them establish a good plan a plan that will be cost effective to them a plan that they can manage to pay a, a plan that uh, will help them keep an eye on how they use their phone and that way you are left with a bill maybe for your for yourself and your husband 
which is more affordable but i see that in most cases individual plans seem to be more affordable uh, than family plans so you want to look into that and also um eventually and also look into some other options as well just like i've said you can look at the pre-played prepaid plan so i thought i'll stop by here today of course this is part one um recap a quick recap of what we what i talked about uh getting out you need to get out of uh credit and consumer uh credit card debt and uh, using the snowball method where you tackle the one with the um with the list balance and you keep on uh going to the next one and then you also want to look at your cable bill and call the cable company and ask them to slash your bill or give you a, a more affordable uh, package and you also want to do the same with your cell phone and if you have children adult children who are in your plan it is time to drop them and help them to look for another plan a plan that they are going to manage yes like i said this is part one i'll be going i'll, I'll be working on uh, part two until we get to a point where you are able to 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 invest money where you are able to really have savings where you are able to grow your money and invest in stocks and bonds uh, as you gain your financial uh, independence uh, financial freedom in other words if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a like so that other people may find it and remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my valuable content i try to upload at least twice a week and the third video is a motivational video that i upload once a week did you find this content helpful sound off in the comment below and tell me what you found uh, helpful in this in this video are you going to put some of these tips to use what are some of your strategies that you are using to, to gain your financial independence with that being said thank you so very much for watching remember to do small things with great love from my heart to yours bye bye